Happy New Year, everybody. This is David Miazga from RedYearCityTV.ca and David Miazga Films. Uh, I've just been experimenting with the new Magic Lantern uh, video format, the MLV format, and they have done it again. They have gotten audio with RAW. Now you got 14-bit video along with 16-bit 4800 hertz audio. It's not just great. It's great stuff, man. Um, so now you can record uh, audio. You can record your audio now. You can use your camera mic for scratch audio. Or right now, I'm plugged in through the Im import through my uh, Sennheiser uh, wireless. So yeah, it works really well. Really well. Uh, sounds nice and clear. So it's 1.5 megabits per second audio, 16-bit, uh, of course, uh, 4800 hertz, with a SMPTE time code attached to it. So you can line up very well in your, um, in your NLE quite easily. Uh, I've done a few tests already, some quick ones. Now, uh, just to see how accurate the framing is with my lips, I'm going to count to 10. Uh, 1 through 10, and then back down from 10 through 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Short little uh, tutorial here for you guys. Um, for Magic Lantern and RAW with the MOV format with sound. We have sound now with RAW. Now, if you go to, uh, I'm working on a 5D Mark II. So if you go to AD's page, uh, 5D Mark II, RAW build and Magic Lantern, um, then go to the first page, that's where you'll have your downloads. Uh, as you see, these are the modules that are coming with AD, and this is what we'll be dealing with: is sound, uh, M uh, Magic uh, Lantern video sound, MOV sound. Okay, there's two ways to get it. You can go to the download here, and this will bring up. It's slow. There we go. Um, I'm screen recording at the same time, so you can go to this one, and this is the hack view mode uh, build, and just download, read your disclaimer, and uh, this is the one here. That's the primary one that you want. So, okay. Or you can go to the nightly build, and there you'll get. Uh, the, you have to check your platform. So you'll get the latest. So we're working with the 5D Mark II. So this is the one you need. And once you click that, then you can download the latest build and then you can review the change logs and such, right? Okay. That being done, just close off this window here. Yes. Now, there's a way to uh, extract the MOVs um, once you've shot them. Just plug in your card. Okay, now, so, these are the modules that I have, MOV sound, MOV record, and file management, and then the file system. And uh, there you are, the MOVs. Now, these are the index files, and the reason why they're there is there's a way that you have to extract these. Um, a little bit different than than the uh, a little bit different than, than the previous format. 
So what you need to do is you need to get Okay, so to extract your MOV, um, there is a tool um, called MOV Viewer, and it, it views MOVs and RAWs, and it's on a Windows platform, uh, C Sharp. And <clears throat> there again, you go to Magic Lantern Forum, <clears throat> and you go to Magic Lantern Forum, and then uh, to the MOV Viewer. And there is an OSX app, and then there's a Windows one. OSX app is working. Um, some people are having a little bit of issue, but I do know the Windows one works really well. Just click there, you save that. Okay. I already have it, so I won't do that. I just wanted to show you where it was. It's on the first page, and it's by this developer here. Extracted the MOV viewer. Open it up. Uh, what you want to load is the browser sharp. Run it. And there we go. Let's close this one off here. And uh, navigate to wherever your footage is, your MOV is, but in this case it's on the card. I'm on a USB 3 uh, a CF card reader. So there we go. And they're right there. And it just takes a it just takes a little moment to uh, to uh, get them loaded up, and you can animate. And if you see, if you if you hover over there, there's all your metadata, and uh, that's what it's all about. Is all that information that you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, move it up here a bit more. So all that information. That's what you're looking for. Okay, and that's what this is all about. That's what the MOV is all about. So it tells you all the information. So you don't have to guess anymore, and then you can animate it, and uh, and you can play your sound. It's a little choppy uh, coming off the card, right? See, there you go. Same deal. Just highlight the one, and it'll animate. It should go. There you go. And there's some audio kicking in. Okay. So now to get them, just right click. And you can, there's two ways you can do this. Uh, you can extract your your raw file and plus your wave, or you can extract your DNGs plus your wave. Now the reason is that is some people are still using, or some people are using Cinema DNGs, and that's my route. So what I usually do is I just click on that, and uh, then it to wherever your volume is save exactly right so I saved it as a raw and then if it's a, if it's a multi-part file it will put it into one raw and then you can extract it from the cinema DNG or there again same deal uh, extract your uh, your DNGs with your weight so there's two ways to go about this and it is slow um, so beware of that but it works well so these are your MOV files with audio now Okay, that's a short little tutorial. I just wanted to show you how to do that. And uh, following, I'll show you how to set it up in the camera in the 5D Mark II. All right, this is a short tutorial uh, on how to get Magic Lantern uh, video with audio, uh, raw uh, video with audio on your camera. With the new MOV format, just a short one. Okay, make sure you have your modules loaded, of course. And if you note that the MOV uh, sound is SMPTE code, it runs in SMPTE time code. Now, these are the settings that I recommend. Make sure your MOV sound is on, uh, and your headphone uh, jack is on, and so you can monitor. And I set my uh, headphone volume to six dB. That seems to be accurate, and uh, it, it seems to be very clear that way. And these are just my settings for MOV uh, that I run at 1856 at 928. That seems to be the highest with HDMI. Uh, 2 1 ratio pack, uh, no preview. Um, that's uh, what I like to run at. It gives me the ultimate right speeds, kills the uh, preview. 
and uh, your extra hacks on and your buffer fill method at one. Zero or one seems to be optimum. Uh, one seems to be w working well on this one here. So there you go. There's a short little rundown on how to get your sound running on your Magic Mountain Rock.